and I are going out to dinner tonight. Oh, are these reproduction? They're absolutely genuine. Genuine what? Genuine reproduction? You're not supposed to ask that. Anyway, <laughs> Paul and I are going out to dinner tonight and afterwards he might come back to my place. Our place? My place and we would <laughs> like to be alone. Why? What do you mean, why? I just wondered why you and Paul wanted to be alone. Well, isn't it obvious? <laughs> what is so funny? Oh, don't you ever learn? Will you shut up? It's bad enough that you have such an interest in my sex life, let alone that you find it so funny. Well, it is. What's down there? All I am saying is, will you please stay out tonight? Hmm. Not sure I should encourage an enterprise that's doomed to fail. Oh, yes? And what is the betting that we will get halfway through the Karma Sutra before news night starts? Oh, hello. 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 <laughs> Just telling me her plans for this evening. Yeah, it sounded very exciting. Oh no, I'm just going out to dinner with a casual, a very casual uh, acquaintance. You might know him, Paul Cooper. Oh yes. Yes, well he's he's a colleague, really. This is lovely. And genuine. Yes. It's very hot in here, isn't it? How's how's she doing? Oh, very well. She sold at least three valuable items since we started. Yes, I know. They're all at home. Apart from us. <laughs> Look, I was going to take Hannah out for dinner tonight. Would you and Paul care to join us? What? Oh, you don't want us. No, we don't. Look, it'll be my treat. <laughs> I'd like to see Paul again anyway. Ah, oh, Jason, you've got the candlesticks. Mum, say no. You'll go anywhere for a free meal, won't you? <laughs> <laughs> Make it worth your while. I don't think so. Look, just a few chairs every now and then. Beat them up, make them look genuine. Stick a bit of that paisley fabric on the seats. You'd be on a percentage. I prefer to restore real antiques. Yes. But what is a real antique? Are you saying you don't know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all I'm saying is, is that as long as it looks a bit mucky and you can spin them a line that, I don't know, you dragged it personally out of the Duke of Devonshire's boudoir, the punters don't care. I mean, they get what they want. Take jewels, please. <laughs> Jules? Yeah, we all know Jules, don't we? We certainly do. Yeah. What about Jules? Well, he came in today. Yeah, I know. I saw him. No, no, no. He came back when you were at lunch. Said he was looking for a gift for a special lady. <laughs> what kind of lady's going to have anything to do with that dozy great hippie? It's very sweet, actually. Yeah, but well, since when has sweet got your BMW 7 Series? <laughs> and did you sell him anything? Of course I did. A genuine Victorian diamond ring. With genuine diamonds, of course. <laughs> I just told him it needed a bit of a clean. Yeah, and you've got 12 more like it out the back that need a bit of a clean. He doesn't know that. You could have told him it was a fake. Mrs Grayshot, please. Not the F word. <laughs> <laughs> but what's the problem? I mean, he got what he wanted. He had to go home and get his post office book. Well, he was happy. And I was very happy. That's business. Excuse me. <laughs> Hello? What do you mean it dropped off? 